Have you ever thought about playing in a tournament? It can be a little intimidating, I have to say. One way that you can build your confidence is to train yourself to make quicker decisions during the Charleston. That's half the game. If you make quick decisions during the Charleston, you'll have a lot more time during the pick and discard phase to build out your hand. Of course, you know, the other players at the table have something to do with it, but if you build your confidence with decision making, at least it won't be your fault if you don't make the game within the allotted time. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do what I call Charleston Sprints and make quick decisions during the Charleston. I have my smartphone out with a stopwatch app on it. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. And then laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to say we're the dealer, so I'll take 14 tiles. And I'm going to make a mock Charleston. We're ready to go. Sprint one. Okay, no multiples. But I see two, three, four, five, or two, four, six, eight. We have, we need to count. I think we can give up that seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Let's discard these three. Two, three, four, five consecutive. There's a two. Get in there. There's a five and a two. Two, three, four, five. We have two tiles to pass, including a dragon. So if we did two, three, four, five, two, four, five, two, three, five, two, three, I think we could probably give up the five and focus on two, three, four, five, two, three, two, three. Let's pass these three. There's a three. Six, five. We can give up those. So two, three, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, five. Let's pass three, four, three, four. Let's give up, oh, oh, let's give up this four, one of each suit. Okay, we got a two. There's our first multiple. Here's another multiple, four, two, four, and a flower, two, four. So I think two, three is strong. Two, three, two, three, we gotta give something up though. Three, two, I think we could pass these three. Two, three, four, one suit. There's a six, I'd hold it. We could switch to evens. Keep the dragon. Here's joker bait, pass the dragon. Keep the joker bait. Okay, dragon, that's okay, we don't need it. I think I would break this up. Let's pass these three. Okay, lap. So we have dragon, joker bait, three discards. That wasn't too bad. I'd say we're in between two, three, four consecutive run. This would be the fifth hand down under consecutive run. Three consecutive Kongs. We could leverage these jokers here, or we could give up the three and play two, four, six, eight. So we're in between. And I would not pick a hand until I ran out of discards. So I think there was another possibility of four, five, six with the red dragon using this as joker bait. I think I would go ahead and hold the six for that, or the fives too for that reason and just start by discarding in this order. I like to discard dragons first because um, I like to try to sabotage the year hand 
um, the big ear hand and then I also like to get rid of year tiles for that same reason so I would discard in this order if you would have done something differently with this first sprint write sprint one and what you would have done differently with these tiles let's see what we can do with this next sprint we need to shave off time I went over I think 40 seconds Okay, sprint two. Okay, we have two multiples, six, three. I was thinking two, four, six, eight, but look at the three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Get rid of the east, seven. We could still do two, four, six, eight in two suits. Let's give up the two dot. That's not too bad. Whoops. Okay, three, six, nine. We've got a nine. Hold it, break this up. Here's joker bait though. We could do two, four, eight. That's a little risky, one category, but we gotta build around here. Maybe we could even play a pair hand. We got a three, another three, and we have tiles we can pass. Don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We got a three and we have tiles we can pass. We've got a nine and a three. We have one discard. Now we pick a hand. I'm thinking three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Let's see, three. I'm thinking maybe the three, six, nine hand with Kongs. That's a 30 point hand, third one down, three, six, nine, three, three. We could go ahead and pass those there. We could always recover and play the concealed hand if we get the six back. There's a six and <laughs> we have two tiles to pass. Let's see, three, three, six, nine. I, th I still think we're closest to that same hand. I'd stick with it. Okay. Uh, get rid of that joker. Okay, now three, six, three, six, six, nine, three, six, nine. We've got fives. We could get rid of the nine. I think I'd pass one blind. Okay, so I think I would say three discards, three, six, nine. I would not pick a hand, uh, but I think that uh, the three, six, nine with threes is the strongest possibility, third hand down, but we do have a possibility of three, six, six, nine using these as joker bait. Again, I would not pick a hand till I ran out of discards. So that's how this one turned out. If you would have done something differently, write that in the comment section. Okay, I need to really shave it down. I went over 33 seconds. Okay, last sprint. Okay, I'm thinking year hand. Year hand, just keep them all. And we have tiles we can pass. Oh my goodness, I hope nobody would ever do that. Okay, I'm thinking the news dragon hand. We can break this up. I would break all that up right now. The two dots. I don't want to get stuck with a pair. Okay, we got a three, five, seven. Let's put a two in there. We could even make that a little better. One of each suit. Okay, let's see, two, six, we haven't gotten any wins. Let's, let's pass these three. Flower. We could pass, oof, these three. A little risky. 
Oh boy. Let's see. We've got jokers. I was thinking we could play the big ear hand, but we'd have to throw away two jokers. I would not do that. We got a flower and we have tiles we can pass. Lap. So I would play the news dragon hand right there. All we need are wins, three discards. That's how I would play this one. If you would have done something differently on this, let me know. But all we need is east, west, south. Really, really, really close. Use these to help. I mean, we don't even need to, we would only need to claim one exposure for a dragon. Nobody would know what we're playing. So that would be stealth mode. Okay, let's check out the timing. I know I went over. I definitely need to practice if I'm gonna be playing in a tournament because I went over, I think. Let's see, sprint one, two minutes, 42 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 33 seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 46 seconds. So we can cancel out sprint one and three. Let me see, no, because that'd be still 20 seconds off. Let me see here. Twenty two over forty two six divided by three six twenty seconds over. I averaged two minutes and twenty seconds, I believe. So, you know, that's not bad if you consider that the card's only been out for a couple months. Give yourself some grace you know, for the first maybe three months, but start pushing yourself to make decisions quicker. And that way, when you play in tournaments, you won't have that pressure and it will feel comfortable making those quick decisions. Even if you make a mistake, this exercise desensitizes you from making mistakes because you're gonna make them, you're gonna go the wrong way, but you can recover during the pick and discard phase of the game. So a fast Charleston is one way that you can really build your confidence. Trust me, give it a try yourself. Come back and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.